or 15,000 per year. In the next financial year, the government will spend 18 billion for the junior secondary school runners' capitation grants. Further to this, I now wish to state that of the 15,000 that will be released for each runner, 4,000 will be spent on the ferment of infrastructure, with the greatest priority being on reparatories. And here I want to assure Kenyans that indeed we are working very closely with members of parliament and the uh, uh, chairman of the Committee on Education. I want to thank you for the initiative you have taken, such that uh, as we give the 4,000 out of the 15,000 for uh, building reparatories, I'm aware that the members of parliament will also be able to set aside money out of CDF so that we are able to embark and ensure that we put up reparatory this year. I'm also happy that going forward, probably by next week, we will be able to make an announcement because we are negotiating with the World Bank where they will be able to give us some funds to put up about 7,000 or so reparatories uh, countrywide, such that as far as infrastructure, infrastructure is concerned, we will be ready to go. Further to the guidelines I announced it last week, I wish to announce that the president, the president has this morning accepted the ministry's interim guidelines in including the following. The board of management of a primary school that domiciles the junior secondary school will constitute a special subcommittee to spearhead the management of education and the resources of the school. The head of the primary school that domiciles the junior secondary school will serve as a secretary while the chairperson will be a member of the committee. All private junior secondary schools will establish and operationalize board of management, mm -hmm. boards of directors, or boards of trustees in accordance with section 52A of the PESC Education Act 2013. A public junior secondary school will be headed by the head teacher of the public primary school that domicile each during the interim period of the transition ending December 30th, 2023. The means of education has re-engineered the National Education Management Information System, commonly known as NEMIS, in readiness for enhancement of management of education data. Registration of runners in NEMIS will form the basis for disbursement of funds to public junior secondary schools and I want to repeat that anybody who is not captured in NEMIS will not be able to will not be able to be a beneficiary of the capitation funds. So the head teachers have to ensure that as runners are reporting to, to schools, they are properly captured in NEMIS. Textbooks and hard copies of the grade seven curriculum designs will be made available for all schools. That one we are making sure that all the required textbooks will be delivered the first week as the schools open uh, on target. NEC will provide guidelines on the conduct of assessments at the junior secondary school because as you are aware, we have formative and the normative formative now forming about 60% and this will be a continuous process and uh, we are happy that what NEC has done so far, there are instruments which are quite objective in measuring the continuous assessment in our junior secondary school. The infrastructure and the resources of existing primary schools will be utilized by the, res by the respective domicile junior secondary school in the interim one year of transition. This applies to special needs junior secondary school as well. The means of education through the Kenya Education Management Institute has developed the curriculum and the training materials to build the capacity of education managers in including junior secondary school management boards and the school heads on the governance and accountability in the leadership of junior secondary school. The curriculum will also apply during the induction of the school heads 
on institutional and instructional leadership. Comprehensive guidelines will be issued to schools in a circular to be, re to be released by my ministry next week. These guidelines have been validated by stakeholders to spell out the general provisions to be adopted by institutions, organizations, and stakeholders in order to fast track operationalization of junior secondary school across the one year transitional period. The guidelines are interim while awaiting the full report of the presidential working party, which is, is expected towards the end of March. I want to thank my cabinet colleagues, Professor Kitura Kendiki and the Honorable Owaro, who head the Minister of Interior and the Administration of National Government and the ICT, respectively, for working with the Minister of Education and other stakeholders to ensure success in the administration of the KCSE examination of 2022. Most of you by now know that the President, that President William Samoy Ruto, is a firm believer of the TV education. I therefore wish to urge all the stakeholders in this sector to rise up and be counted as we institute far-reaching reforms in the sector as could be recommended by the Presidential Working Party. My principal secretary for Tibet and the semi-autonomous agencies in my ministry, including the Kenya National Qualification Authority and the Kenyan universities and the colleges central placement service must prepare to work to ensure that the agenda of Tibet remains robust and able to spur the economy of Kenya through the production of a well-trained youth. I therefore direct the Kenya universities and the colleges central placement service to move with speed and establish the number of places available in our universities, colleges and the Tibet institutions to enable the immediate commencement of the placement exercise. And as I'm going, as I'm going to say shortly, the numbers that we have this year for university, I think all our public universities will be able to get enough students as well as our private universities. And we also have a good number that our TV institutions will be able to admit. The President Service should also engage with the higher education regulatory boards, Commission for University Education, and the technical and vocational schools are prepared to enroll new students. This is in line with providing fair and the parents access to quality and relevant higher education and the training and the training and the government policy of 100% transition. I also wish to announce that the government is keen to ensure that the credibility and authenticity of qualifications and the certificates that we get from our education and the training institutions remain of a high quality. To that end, we have developed a system of a for articulation, classification, registration and accreditation and the quality assurance of national qualifications. I hereby direct the Kenya National Qualification Authority to ensure that the national qualification framework is fully implemented as this will ensure and enhance the quality, relevance and authenticity of qualifications, not just locally but globally. This will also promote portability of our qualifications and the mobility of labor. So far as you know, our education standards in the region and even globally are among the best uh, 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 as it can be compared with others. Finally, on this point, I declare that all the candidates who sat the KCSE examination in 2022 have already avenues to progress to other levels of education as we seek to leave no runner behind in career development. All these candidates have a destiny and the government is determined to clear the path for them to reach that destiny. As I have already stated, 881,416 candidates sat the 2022 
KCSC examinations compared with 826 8807 candidates in 2021. This represented an increase of 54,609 candidates, that being 6.60%. Of the total number of candidates that sat the 2022 KCSE examination, 443,644 were male, while 437,772 were female, representing 50%, 50.33%, 50 and 49.69% of the total candidates, respectively. This statistic means the country has achieved gender parity in much the same way as we have done at the primary school level. 14 counties had more males than female candidates in the 2022 KCSE examination compared to 17 counties in 2021. These were Mombasa, Kerifi, Tanariva, Ramu, Turukana, Samburu, West Pokot, Kajiado, Narok, Omabei, Migori, Garissa, Wajia, and Mandela. 17 counties with a high gender disparity in the favor of female candidates during the 2022 KCSE examinations included Kirinyaga, Kiambu, Kitui, Meru, Tharakanithi, Fihiga, and Kisumu. In the 2022 KCSE examination, 17 subjects recorded a significant improvement in performance compared with 11 subjects that recorded a significant improvement in performance in 2021. There was, significant, there was no significant change in performance in four of the subjects over the during the 2022 KCSA examination. There were 1,146 making 0.13% candidates who obtained an overall A grade in the 2022 examinations compared with 1,138, which was 0.14% candidates in 2021. On the other hand, the number of candidates with minimum university entry qualification of grade C plus and above has risen to 173,345, forming 19.03% in the year 2022 KCSE examination, compared to 145,776, which was 17.55% in 2021. The number of candidates with mean grade D plus and above in the the 2022 KCSE examination is 522,588, which is 59.14% compared with 442,251, which was 53.29% in 2021. Encouragingly, the number of candidates obtaining a mini grade of E declined significantly to 30,822, which is only 3.49%, despite the increase in candidature, compared with 46,151, which was 5.56% in 2022. This clearly leads us to conclude that most of the candidates scored grades of higher quality. Most significantly, all the candidates, remaining candidates are eligible to join TVET in institutions, teacher training colleges, medical training colleges, and other tertiary learning institutions for various courses. The breakdown for the various grades is as follows. A, female, we have 271 getting an A, male, we have 875, A minus 1,962 female, male 4,445, B plus we have female 6,104, uh, male 9,578, B grade 
uh, female 13,520, male 17,783, uh, P, P minus 21,474, uh, uh, that is female, uh, uh, male 27,245, Cyprus, we have 33,138 female, while male, we have 36,950, which means that uh, uh, the male uh, in this particular category have done better, and uh, I hope going forward, the female will also be able to improve so that at least we have some kind of uh, parents. C, female, we have 49,191. Male, we have 45,963. In this particular one, female have done better than their male counterparts. C minus, again, uh, female, 62,599. Male, 56,000. 469, again here, female have done better than, uh, than uh, men. Uh, Deepras, we have female 70,238. Uh, male, we have 64,783. Again here, female have done better than male. D, we have 79,935 female. 75,545 male. D minus, we have female 84,075. Male 83,683. E, female, we have 12,760. Male 18,062. There were 190 candidates, eight, that is 8.80% 8 with special needs, who obtained an overall grade C plus and above in a 2022 KCSA examination. Candidates will correct their research from their respective examination centers. Individual candidates, candidate research can also be accessed by sending a candidate's index number followed by the initials KCSE to do a short message service SMS to number 20076. I repeat again, you write KCSE and then your index number and then you send it to number 20076 and you will be able to access your result of the KCSE examination immediately after this. It is now my humble duty and privilege to declare the 2022 KCSE examination research officially released. I wish all the countries success in their future endeavor. Thank you and God bless you. Now, yes. of the media, in case anybody with one question, I normally like an interactive process, but uh, because from here again, 
I'm moving to West Pokot for a function. Can we have only one, one question in the case there is? Only one. My name is Francis today from FUTV. I just wanted to highlight this, but there are one and cases of cheating. What are you going to do about those results? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I want to report and uh, very happy about it. When we were preparing for this exam this year, we did come up with a mechanism, and the mechanism that we came up with that was was that uh, accountability was transferred to the personal level, such so that as we were giving a brief to all those who were concerned with the administration of the exam uh, at uh, the headquarters in Saudi Sea, we said the centre manager will be personally accountable if any irregularities were discovered. And then we also designed a form for the security personnel to be able to sign uh, confirming that all went well, or in the case of anything that never went on well, during that particular day, they were to indicate that probably there was something that never went well. Uh, in including the supervisors and then features, and what we did, changing the system a little bit, I'm happy to report that we really uh, did not experience the kind of cheating, the kind of mal practices that we, we used to get there before. So I want to thank the Kenya National Ad uh, Examination Council and those who were concerned, all those who were concerned in the administration of the exam because so far it went on very well. We also got a, a partnership. We worked very closely with the ICT ministry so that anybody who was trying to use technology in uh, 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 any kind of cheating, we were able to discover that in good time. So uh, we never experienced the kind of experience we used to get there before. Uh, no numbers for now. Eh? No numbers. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, Cabinet Secretary. Um, we the program is tight, as indicated, and I will now invite Madam Melda Baraza to make an announcement and vote of thanks in three sentences. Karibu, Director. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm going to take the shortest time possible. Uh, Allow me to thank each one of you for gracing our occasion, and allow me to also thank you for availing yourselves uh, whenever we call you uh, within a short time of, of uh, notice. So allow me to appreciate that you have a busy schedule today. Thank you very much for gracing this occasion, and we want to appreciate the information you've been given and wish all the 2023 candidates a bright future as they receive their results. Announcements. Will be dispatching the directors of education. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Be blessed. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Kamastima Namaji, Rita Ndambuki. Please offer the closing prayer. Uh, before she does that, if you allow CS um, to get your results, you will send an SMS include your full index, that is 11 digits, followed by the initial KCSC, and send this to 20076. Your full index number, the 11 digits, KCSC, send to 20076, the closing prayer. We can stand for the word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this opportunity you've given us to be able to witness this release of the 2022 KCSC results. We thank you because you enabled us, you gave us the energy uh, for each and everybody who participated in this exercise. Lord, we won't forget our invigilator, supervisors, security center managers, and even center organizers and all who are involved. 
it is such a wonderful opportunity to serve the children of this nation. We do therefore give you glory and honor. As we embark on the preparations of the 2023 uh, examinations, Lord, make them even better. We thank you. We give you all the praise and the glory. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And now is my duty to thank all of us and to thank all our participants, those who have attended, for accepting to stay for tea. Thank you for accepting to stay for tea. Tea is served. <laughs>